Next chapter, lacrosse staff tell me that statistics show many people struggle after the release from transition from jail to the outside world. With many reoffending, staff then realize that there is a greater need for more effective approach to avoid the cycle of jail time. The men who use New Chapters services tell me it's not like any other support service they've used. People often talk about, well, you're homeless, you got nothing to do all day, why can't you get a job? Well, they don't understand. It takes a couple hours to ride your bike to wherever, get a shower, figure out where you're going to hide your clothes. One of those men who use the services of Next Chapter is Michael. This isn't just a, a band aid. Michael says he and other men have found stability living here. A lot of the programs are set up to get through them, right? But in this, like, I actually have a stake in this, right? Like, I have some pride in this. When I leave this, I'm going to come back as a mentor or I'm going to be able to start another house, right? Or whatever it may be. So I'm invested in this. Next chapter's executive director says the program is Christian based and provides day to day support to to take responsibility. And we do that through relationships. So it's not just a program, but it's building relationships. They want a change and they know inside that that's the deep desire. They just don't know how. Dean Chekovich, a mentor for Next Chapter, says stats show a stable home is one of the first steps to having a healthy, productive life. Breaks the barriers and pulls walls down that never did before. We have a kitchen upstairs as well, but this is the place where we do our joint meals. And I was a foreman. I had my own house. I had, you know, on the outside, I was living a, a good life, you know, but on the inside, I was broken. Matthew uses Next Chapter's services. He and Mike hope the community can open their hearts and see past the cells they were once behind. We do want to be a part of the community, right? We do want to be prideful of our community and help the community and be seen as a member of the community. It's a safe house. Um, there's so much love here. I mean, I, I, and I just am drawn to that. I need that, you know, I need that, that love and that support. Dean says lacrosse has its challenges, but also has plenty of strengths. But this city has an anomaly of an intense amount of addiction per capita, but it's also got an intense amount of love in this recovery community. Well, thank you. This looks yeah, wonderful. It's my pleasure. There is a lot of strength in this community. Residents of Next Chapter must follow rules, including a curfew. There are five rooms available for residents. Two are currently in use.